big data and digital transformations. J.D. Durkin was at Microsoft's Inspire conference with the company's chief strategy officer. Check it out. All right, we're joined now by Yvonne Martinez, Chief Product and Strategy Officer at Brilio, and he joins us now on Cheddar. Yvonne, it's great to have you here. Hi, Didi. Nice to meet you. How is your Microsoft Inspire going so far? Because this is a pretty cool event. It is actually truly inspiring. It's a huge event, lots of people, lots of partners, lots of innovation from Microsoft. It's, it's been a terrific experience. It's the first time I'm personally here, and I'm truly to inspire. Yvonne, I was fascinated to learn the fact that not only is Brilio really just a company that's essentially just a few years old, your relationship with Microsoft is very new. How old is Brilio as a company itself? So Brilio has been around for a little bit over three years as an independent entity, but we've been growing pretty fast. So right now, particularly in the context of Microsoft, we've been a partner with Microsoft since May 2016. And we've now become one of the top 50 partners for Microsoft, particularly in the areas of the top 50 partner for Microsoft. Wow, so the relationship with Microsoft specifically here, just a, a little over one year or so. Correct. Talk to us about some of the new changes and the growth that you've seen since this relationship with Microsoft came together. What has it meant to Brilio? So to Brilio is actually very important to have a partner like Microsoft because of all the enablement that allows us to bring to clients, particularly around cloud or even artificial intelligence, because we do a lot of work with CNTK, it's the inside to bring uh, to clients with the power of the new know-how that Microsoft brings, all the infrastructure, to deliver our solutions. So Yvonne, for a partner like yourself and the work you do at Brilio, when you come here to Microsoft Inspire, do you have the adequate opportunity to meet other partners and kind of pick their brains and, and potentially develop new working relationships moving forward? Sure. Actually, since Sunday, uh, we've been meeting with a bunch of other partners who have other similar capabilities and we exchange ideas, ways to work together, some geographic expansion opportunities and other things. It's been a very enriching experience to, to be part of the broader community, the broader Microsoft family. Sure. What does the support system from Microsoft look like when you're a partner? So here you're, you're at Inspire. A ton of great new tech announcements coming from Satya Nadella and the team here at Microsoft. But what happens next? What happens when you go back to your work at Brilio? Does the, the Microsoft continue to offer you support, help, and infrastructure in certain ways? Yes, actually, we just finished a meeting with some of the, 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 the engineering team and uh, talking about you know, developing a solution together you know, and uh, using artificial intelligence. And we already have a bunch of meetings for next week lined up nice. to discuss that. and. I think quickly you know, moving, huh? Yeah. That was fast. Yeah, it's actually the world moves very fast. I'm going to need to move fast with the world. Right. Uh, I know that at Brilio you talk about the importance of deploying disruptive solutions. How important is it to be a disruptor in your space? Very important because the, the market itself is getting disrupted by technology. So in order for us to help our clients become more relevant in the marketplace, we need to not only adjust to that disruption but disrupt the market or they'll get disrupted. So. I know yesterday you gave a few speeches. One of them was the importance about building a uh, data science, let me see if I got this right, a data science practice. Is that right? That was, right. That was one of your speeches yesterday. Right. What were you really looking to drive home as part of your speech there? So I wanted to actually to help others, you know, uh, share some of the key success factors that made Brilio grow the data science team so quickly and so rapidly because that's one of the challenges that most of our clients have these days, given that you need to adjust to the big data and extracting insights very rapidly. How can you grow at scale uh, that organization? So they were asking a bunch of questions about how we've been able to do what we've been able to do over the last few months and in the last couple of years actually. I know you also spoke about a different speech, business analytics specifically. Uh, what does it mean for the emerging world of business analytics when you're a Microsoft partner? So particularly uh, how you can use like the newest uh, technologies and capabilities that analytics world is opening up, you know, things like artificial intelligence and what type of use cases, what type of uh, capabilities we can use in the clients leveraging what Microsoft brings, you know, particularly the CNTK is a big one, for example, for us. So it seems like Microsoft Inspire has been very fruitful for you so far. Yeah, it is, actually. It's been a wonderful experience since May 2016 when we started with Microsoft, and every day I can tell I'm truly inspired. I think that's uh, it's a perfect name for the, for the conference. Inspire, right? Perfect name. Uh, Chief Proc and Strategy Officer at Brilio, Yvonne Martinez, generous enough to take the time to join us here on Cheddar. Congratulations. Thank you, Jenae. Enjoy the rest and uh, continued success when you head back home. Thank you so much. Again, that was Yvonne Martinez, Chief Strategy Officer at Brilio, and a great interview.
All right, coming up, more headlines. Don't go anywhere. Keep it right here on Cheddar.